Stand by for the latest episode of the Biz News Flash Briefing. The latest news from the world of business and investments. Former President Jacob Zuma has finally appeared in court to face corruption, money laundering and racketeering charges. He pleaded not guilty on all counts. Zuma's lawyer, Dalian Mpofu, spent part of the first day of the trial arguing that state prosecutor Billy Downer should be replaced. He says that Downer is not independent and impartial because he supported an opposition party's bid to ensure that Zuma faced charges. Zuma, aged 79, was fired as deputy president in 2005 after his financial advisor was found guilty of soliciting bribes for him from arms dealers in the 1990s. Later, Zuma led South Africa for almost nine scandal-marred years before the ruling party forced him to to step down in 2018 to stem a loss of electoral support. The number of confirmed COVID-19 infections has risen about 17% in South Africa over the past week. This is the warning from the Department of Health. The hospitalization rate has risen about 12% over the week, while the death rate has climbed by about 30%. Just over 3,000 new infections were reported in the 24 hours until Tuesday, says the Department of Health. South African taxpayers are footing the bill for the country's spy agency, to beef up its economic intelligence unit so that it can play a proactive role in supporting the nation's companies as they expand beyond their home base. This is according to State Security Minister Ayanda Tlodlo, who says firms that could benefit from the intelligence operative's expertise include telecommunications giant MTN and Sassel, the world's largest producer of motor fuel from coal. MTN operates in 21 markets, while Sassel's business spans 30 countries. South Africa's health minister William Kize, at the centre of a corruption scandal, is facing calls for his resignation. A forensic investigation and a probe by the Special Investigating Unit are underway into a contract with 150 million rand. Mkise says the public outrage and anger over the Digital Vibes contract was justified, but he will not be stepping aside. He denies personally benefiting from the contract. And that was your Biz News Flash Briefing. I'm Jackie Cameron for Biz News. For those and the other big stories of the day, visit biznewsradio.com. You've been listening to the Biz News Flash Briefing, bringing you the latest news from the world of business and investments. Subscribe to Biz News Radio on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, or by visiting biznews.com.